up front at four. This Halloween, from the spooky to the family-friendly fun, we've got you covered. Lindsay is checking out some Nebraska haunted spots, and she's live in the Hickory Ridge neighborhood. That's right, guys, trying to be very brave here. So to give you an idea, here's the address. I want you to write it down. It's also probably on the screen, 7328. 179th Street. This is actually a house. The Wida family who lives here has spent the past month putting together this very creepy, oh, very, oh, there's a clown. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, there's another clown. I am a big wimp when it comes to the haunted house, guys. They've put together this haunted house and the whole reason why they're doing this is because they're just trying to raise donations, canned food for the Sienna Francis house. This clown is just staring at me, just giving me the lowdown. Well, as we are bravely going to try to continue to walk through here, I want you to also take a look. We found this really spooky museum in Elmwood, Nebraska that has all sorts of haunted stuff. Take a look. All right, here we go. In small town Elmwood, Nebraska, the scary, the spooky, the macabre are all housed here. Open for a little over a year, the Museum of Shadows is the creation of ghost hunting couple Nate Ratterman and Kaylee Lightwine. More than 250 artifacts fill the museum, sent to the couple from around the world. Right here behind me, it's kind of a mask on the wall um, that actually came from uh, Brazil. Uh, we have um, an actual shrunken head that actually came from the rainforest. Uh, we have items from Sri Lanka. The items each come with haunting tales of their own. So the axes on the wall over here actually came from Germany. Um, they were used in the murder of a woman. And many objects, the couple say, have ghosts attached to them. This World War II helmet has a soldier that visits the museum. This doll is tied to the wall because it gets up and moves, the couple says. They've shared videos like this one to their Facebook page, where objects seem to inexplicably move or lights turn on. Right down here, um, Lulu. Lulu actually at 1.30 in the morning slid out into the middle of the floor. Don't worry though, despite the creepy factor being seriously high on the dolls, the shrunken heads and everything in between, Ratterman says everything here goes through a quarantine process to make sure any apparition attached to the artifact is Casper level friendly. We have a room off location. Uh, we actually have two law enforcement officers that actually watch uh, 36 cameras in that room. Uh, the item is placed in there that's locked in. And you don't have to wait till next Halloween season to visit. This supernatural tourist spot welcomes visitors, alive or ghostly, every day. So whether you want to go out and be very brave and check out all of those haunted artifacts, and those are just a couple of them. I mean, the stories behind them were super creepy. Or you want to come here, again, we're live at 7328 179th Street, uh, 180th and Harrison to give you an idea. You can't miss the house, it's covered with stuff from the outside. Oh, there's another person! And inside, <laughs> just breathe with me here, guys. <laughs> it is a little scary, but don't worry, it's a lot of fun and it is all for a good cause, right? The creepy person's nodding, yes, it's for a good cause. It's for the Santa Francis house. They're uh, wanting folks to come by anytime now uh, to 10 o'clock. And uh, let's put it this way, we have one more live hit. If you guys come by, then I might need you to walk through this with me, because as you can tell, I'm a little bit of a wimp. <laughs> uh, check in with us a little bit later. Uh, make sure that I am still with us. Uh, the creepy person has gone around the corner, so ooh, wish me luck. <laughs> We're live near 180th and Harrison. I'll send it back to you guys. <laughs> I love that she keeps calling her the creepy person, but it's true. That person it was. was creepy. Yes, she was. <laughs> You're not into the, no, the haunted I, stuff. I'm, I'm just not. I, I just don't like to be scared. Mm. I like horror movies, but you know what? Yeah, On a day like either. today, I, I prefer the candy. <laughs> I do too. And you know what? Yeah, I've been passing it out to everybody. Yeah, yeah trick or treating. I'm it's so delicious. ready for it.